Hello everyone, this is Matt at FixMyGPU.com um, Today I'm going to show you uh, the how to fix the PS3 yellow light of death um, basically with the cord plugged in you see the red light hit the power button it turns green turns yellow then blinks red now when you do this if you listen carefully you can hear the, spin, the fan spin so you know it's getting power it's just not getting the right voltage and the solder underneath the GPU is not making a good connection so I'm going to tear this thing down and get it down to the board uh, I'm not going to show you exactly how to tear it all down because there's tons of videos on YouTube on how to take your PS3 apart so um, I'll get it tore down and then I'll start the film back up Okay, so I got the PS3 board on the jig, got it taped off, um, got my thermal coupler on there, I used the liquid flux, BGA flux that I got from zeph.com, z-e-p-h.com, and I put some on one side and let it drip all the way through the chip you can see it come out the other side um, basically we're going to do a reflow on it first to see if it brings it back to make sure that that was the problem before we even attempt to do a reball um, now you guys might be noticing that I have this plate here which I was sick of using the Jovi and the board warping. It's getting too hot in the middle. And the reason it's doing that is because it's not heating up the board evenly. Um, when you do these bigger boards, the Jovi bottom heater just doesn't really cut it, uh, in my opinion at least. Um, I was having troubles with the board wanting to warp. Um, and you can't have that. You can't have that at all. The board's got to stay completely flat. So what I did was I took the Presto board. Uh, it's just a board that you can bake pancakes on or bacon, whatever, eggs, whatever you want to do. I bought it at Target. I took the legs that were on the Joby XY table that you can see right there. And I put them on this. Basically I had to take the plastic that was around the Presto board off and then I had to uh, I had to drill out these holes so the screws would fit in them and then I just used the legs that were on the XY table from the Jovi now I've done a couple of these already and this method is keeping the board completely flat because the board is staying completely heated on the underneath evenly so basically right now I got the Presto plate heating up I got the dial turned all the way up to 400 degrees my temperature is rising um, it does get hot enough to get the bottom of the uh, to get the board up to the 110 degrees mark and beyond. So once it hits 110 degrees, well, actually, once it hits 70 degrees, I'm going to turn on the upper heater on, on fast reflow. I leave the bottom heater out, out completely off now. Um, now, if you guys are having troubles with the board wanting to warp because you're doing bigger boards than cell phone boards and stuff like that, then you might want to give this a shot because it works. Um, so once I hit 70 degrees Celsius, I'll turn the upper heater on. I got the upper heater level at six and a half. Uh, once it hits 110 degrees, I'll swing the upper heater over. And then once it hits 230 degrees, since we're still using lead-free solder, once it hits 230 degrees Celsius, it'll shut off. I'll let it cool down a little bit and then I'll turn the fan on. Um, I kind of like the board to cool a little bit by itself before you hit it with the fan. 
even though the fan's not directly hitting it, I like it to uh, cool down and kind of set in place. So I just hit 70 degrees, so I'm going to turn my upper heater completely on fast reflow. Like I said, you have to have the board completely flat while you're doing this. And if you're heating up the middle of the board and the edges aren't getting as hot as the middle of the board, it's going to warp. Um, and like I said, you can't have that. So, I basically paid $2,300 and I only use the upper heater now. <laughs> but hey, if it works, it works, you know. I mean, I give credit to the Jovi with the uh, upper heater. I mean, it's it, it removes the chip beautifully. It never bows the board as far as underneath the chip. It's always completely flat. Um, it does a good job. It's just the lower heater is not big enough to heat up the boards evenly. Um, and when I'm not doing Xbox and PS3s, I'm doing laptops uh, that are bigger boards as well. I uh, I just put 3 8 nuts underneath the board. It raises the board off the hot plate probably a little over a quarter of an inch. Sometimes I double up the nuts and put two nuts on top of each other. Or one nut on top of each other. And then put the board on top of that. Um, and it seems to be keeping the boards completely flat during the process, so... It is what it is, you know. You want it to pay all that money and it to work the way you want it to work, but... I believe the Jovi was designed for smaller boards. So we're at 100 degrees Celsius right now with just the hot plate heating it up. Once it hits 110, I'll swing the upper heater over and we'll take it up to 230. And then we'll let it cool down and test it out and see if we uh, get past that yellow light of death. Alright, we're at 110 right now. I'm actually going to lower the upper heater. Seems a little high. So I'll put it right under the 6 mark now. We're at 150 right now. We're at 184.
200. Ten. Two twenty. Over the upper heater just a hair because it's just hovering right at so I'm at five and a half on the level now. 225, Swing it over, let it get to about 200 degrees before I hit the fan. It drops pretty quick. And I'm going to turn off the Presto plate as well. I mean, I can see underneath the chip, I can see the balls are still kind of liquefied keep watching them and you'll see them kind of go back to being a solid state and you give it a little bit and then you can uh, hit it with the fan Okay, so we're at 195. Turn the fan on. I'll let it cool down and I'll start it back up. I'll show you how uh, I clean the chip before I test it out. And then we'll put it semi, semi back together and try to fire it up. Okay, so just pulled it off the plate. Take up. Tape. 